Hello, today I'm going to be demonstrating the Apollo Dynamic Mattress System. So the Apollo Mattress System is a full replacement system intended for use in an acute hospital setting on a general or intensive care ward. It can also be used in long-term care facilities where medical care is provided. It is the responsibility of the carer to carry out the necessary risk assessments to ensure product compatibility, but also the safety of the patient. The risk assessment should include, but is not limited to, entrapment, patient falls, and patients who have reduced capacity or who may be agitated and or restless. The maximum user weight for the mattress is 190 kilograms or roughly 30 stone. However, this does include any bedding and accessories that may be used with the mattress. It is suitable for patients up to a very high risk um, and patients that may have a category four pressure ulcer. However, you always need to ensure that monitoring and reposition of the patient is carried out as per their individual care plan. A risk assessment should also be performed to ensure the suitability of the patient and any contraindications, such as an unstable spinal injury. For those patients of a very low weight, typically less than 40 kilograms, with a physical size of less than 146 centimetres, clinical judgment really needs to be used to determine suitability. Support platforms used with the mattresses can vary greatly depending on the specific healthcare setting. Again, a risk assessment should be carried out to ensure product compatibility. Please refer to your local policy and guidance on equipment selection and to the full user manual instructions prior to using the mattress in relation to safe use. When setting up the mattress, Firstly, place the mattress onto your bed frame, ensuring that the umbilical cord is at the foot end of the bed and the feet symbol is facing upwards. Ensure there are no sharp objects around the vicinity of the mattress. You also need to ensure that any bed sheets that you use on the mattress are fitted loosely to reduce the hammock in effect. Also, any tight fitting sheets may interfere with some alternation. During normal operation, the control unit monitors the mattress pressure and maintains it at a set level. If the pressure falls below the set pressure level, the control unit will automatically speed up the inflation of the mattress until the correct pressure is achieved. Attach the mattress straps to the moving parts of the bed frame, ensuring they are not twisted. Position the pump unit securely to the footboard of the bed using the integral hooks that you see here or a pump unit holder if this is provided with the bed you are using. Attach the air connector using the quick connector by aligning with the ports on the pump unit and pushing into place, ensuring the hose does not kink or become trapped between the parts of the bed frame. So we're now going to look at the mattress in a little bit more detail. So the mattress cover itself is multi-stretch, water resistant and vapour permeable. There is also a 360 degree zip which allows for the replacement of the top cover only if it's required. The cover also has high frequency welded seams and a zip flap. This reduces the possibility of any ingress of fluid and aids with infection control. The mattress is made up of 20 air cells. Three are the static head cells that support the patient, which also helps to eliminate feelings of nausea. The remaining 17 cells are the alternating cells. The mattress cover also has a white inner substrate on the underside of the cover, which you can see here. This helps with auditing procedures by making it easier for staining to be identified, showing that the mattress cover has become compromised.
So now we're going to be looking at some of the functions within the mattress. And the first thing that we're going to be looking at is the alternation and the static modes. So patients should always be nursed in the alternating mode, which is indicated by the green light that you see here. The static mode may be selected when any nursing procedure is being carried out or for patient mobilisation. When using the static mode, an amber light will illuminate to activate the full inflation of all the cells. When using the static mode, the system will automatically revert back to alternating mode after 30 minutes. This is a safety mechanism to ensure that patients are not left lying on a constantly hard surface. If the static mode is no longer required prior to the system automatically switching back to alternating mode, press the button and the mode will revert back to alternating and the green light will illuminate. The next function that we're going to be looking at is the comfort setting that you can see here. So the comfort setting allows optimum comfort for patients without compromising on performance. However, you do need to use your clinical judgment when changing the pressure settings. In order to change the pressure settings, you simply use the up down buttons that you see here to select the setting that you require. There are three comfort settings, soft, medium and firm. Each step increases or decreases the pressure by two millimetres of mercury. The third function we're going to be looking at is the lock system. So the control unit will automatically lock out all functionality after two minutes of inactivity. When the system is locked, an amber light will illuminate that you can see here. To unlock the control unit, press the button for two seconds. To re-engage the lock button, again press for two seconds and the automatic lock will re-engage. There is also a troubleshooting guide that you can see here. When there is a fault detected within the mattress or the control unit, an audible alert will sound and an amber light will illuminate to show which fault has been identified. To mute, press the mute button. The alert will reactivate after 15 minutes. If the power failure indicator activates, the mute button will not silence the audible alert. To silence, the off and on switch of the control unit must be set to off. If you have a low pressure alert, check the connections are secure and correctly installed according to the relevant instructions. If you have a power failure alert, check whether there has been a power loss to the environment or that the unit is plugged into the mains power at the wall. If there is a cycle fault, Turn off the control unit, disconnect the male air connector to reduce the cell pressure, reconnect the air connector and turn the control unit back on. If these faults cannot be rectified, please contact Drive to Bilbis Healthcare or your service provider. Rapid deflation of the mattress may be required for an emergency situation or for system deflation. In an emergency or to deflate rapidly, turn the CPR dial to the open position. Turn the CPR dial back to closed to reinflate the mattress. Wait for the mattress system to reach its optimal pressure prior to a return to normal use. Once reinflated, ensure the correct settings are reselected for the patient. In order to use the transport mode, Switch modes from alternating to static and wait for all cells to inflate before transporting the patient. Remove the air connector from the control unit. Seal with the transport cap, like so, and turn off the control unit. 
The mattress will now stay inflated for up to 24 hours in normal conditions.